today's DIY is to help you get more organized. I've got lots of drawers in my bedroom that are filled with stuff and basically I wanted to find a way to organize the stuff inside those drawers better. So today I'm going to show you how to make some drawer dividers using just some cardboard and some nice colored paper. I've got the IKEA Brimnes drawers that I'm wanting to organize a bit better. The drawers are quite deep um, they're a good size so you can fit a lot in them but it is just hard to find everything in there sometimes. This DIY is going to tidy everything up, make it much easier to find stuff and it has the added benefit of giving your drawers a pop of color when you open them. So if this DIY sounds like something that could help you out, keep on watching and let's get into it. So this is my drawer set and this is my drawer to start with. It holds a lot of socks but it's difficult to find a particular pair and it's just an absolute mess so something needed to be done. To start by measuring out the width, the length and the depth of the drawer. You want your dividers to fit in quite tightly so try and be as exact as possible. For this DIY I'm using some grey board from Paper Chase just because it is sturdy and cheap. Rule out the shape of the drawers you just measured and always go a little bit bigger if you're unsure because you can always trim slices off later but you can't really add to them. Then cut out the shapes with a craft knife. Next you have to check that they fit in the drawers snugly. You want them to be able to fit tightly in so they stay up on their own but if you find a piece bending like this one just trim a little bit off the side so that it fits right. Then you want to measure out the midway point of your board and cut out a notch that goes to the very center that's about as wide as the board is itself. This is how you're going to slide the two pieces together so do that on both boards and then check that they fit. Next we're going to cover the board with some nice blue paper and again I got this from Paper Chase for really cheap. For this I'm using some craft glue on the edge of the board lining it up with the paper and sticking it down. Slice the paper out from that center notch and then wrap the edges around for a cleaner look. Put some glue on the base of the back, fold the paper over neatly and press it down. Trim the paper away from the notch again and from the edges and then just repeat it all for the second piece of board but this time sticking the opposite edge in line with the paper. This is so we get a nice finish on the tops of both pieces when they're in the drawer together. Trim all the excess paper away and check they fit together still. Then assemble them in the drawers. They should sit firmly and be quite sturdy in there. Then you can go ahead and fill the drawers up. Much more organized. I chose the blue paper because it contrasts with anything that I'd be putting in the drawers but I really just like how it looked in the end. This DIY is easy and cheap and so useful. I liked it so much that I made a divider for all of the drawers in this set. I hope you like that DIY. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you did. I am just naturally quite a messy person. Like this tidiness going on behind me. My room is not always like that as you'll have seen if you watch my vlog. So little organizational DIYs like this really help me to keep all my things in the right place. If you've got any requests for future DIY videos make sure you leave them down below in the comments and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!